Hello and welcome everyone! Today we will see the translation of Master Study with the Local Translate plugin. But before we start, let's see what Local Translate is and what's the difference between it and WPML. First of all, let me explain static and dynamic strings in WordPress in an easy way. Dynamic string is a string that has been entered by the user or can be modified by the user within the plugin or theme settings. For example, the name, description, and the lessons of the courses, texts in emails, they are dynamic. You can change them without any third-party plugin directly to your own language in the course builder or in the plugin settings. On the other hand, static strings are the text that are hard-coded in your WordPress themes or plugins. They remain the same unless someone changes them manually in the code. For example, you just cannot edit the text in your plugin settings, menus in the student dashboard, or any texts inside of buttons. They don't change unless the developer updates the code. Hopefully, we can change them using the Local Translate plugin. Technically, the job of Local Translate is replacing one word with another, regardless of the language. For instance, you want to create your own website in Italian only, and there are some texts remain in English even if you change the plugin language. You can use the Local Translate to complete the task. But if you want to create your website in English and in Italian, you need WPML. To learn how to create multilingual LMS website using WPML and master study, check this video out. If you want to change the language of your website, first open the general tab from your WordPress settings. Find the language and choose the suitable one. In this case, the interface of your WordPress remains unchanged, but the static strings in frontend, if they have been translated to the language that you selected, will change. To change the language of the WordPress itself, go to the Edit Profile and select the language according to your needs and save it. In this case, plugins languages including Master Study will also change if they have been translated to your language. Okay, good. Now let's see how the static strings can be translated using the Local Translate plugin. First of all, go to Add New Plugin and search for Local Translate. It's a free plugin, so install and activate it. Go to Local Translate, then Plugins. As you see, we have strings both in Master Study Free and Pro versions. Let's open the free version first. Here you can see the built-in translated languages. Some of them are not fully translated. You can freely edit any of them and complete the translations. In this video, we translate from English to English as an example. The principle is applicable to any language. So click on New Language. First, select your target language from the list. If it's not in the list, add it from here. As I said, I will translate to English. Next, select the System option as Location. It is required to store the translation file in this folder to keep the translation during the updates. Next time, you can continue your work by just editing the language that we have created now. So, this is the main interface that we will work on. Here you can see all the strings in our free version of the plugin. In the first column, there will be displayed original text, and in the second column, the translation by you. Translations should be written here, and after each translation, changes should be saved. You may see some words starting with percentage sign. Actually, they are variables. They can be anything. For instance, in this string, the variable is the first name of the user. All of the variables should be used without change. Only the order of them in the sentence can be changed. Let me change it like this. And you can see the result. Strings can be searched using this field. Let's say I want to translate this preview this course text in the button. I will search for preview this course, then change it to just preview to make a difference. Now you can see the text has been changed. Or, let's change strings in the plugin settings. I want to change these courses to T courses, where T stands for translated. Now you see, it has changed too. Like this, you can translate any static string in our plugin. If you did not find the some strings from the free version of the plugin, you need to search them from the Pro or Pro Plus version of the plugin. Usually, there will be strings related to the Pro features of the plugin.
use the same method to translate as we did for the free version. StyleMix themes really cares about its clients and that's why we every day create more and more colorful features to our plugins to make them better. That's why you need to keep your plugins up to date. While updating, of course new strings will be added or removed. But after the plugin update, you need to synchronize it in the local translate plugin as well. To do it, open the plugins page in the local translate, then select the updated master study LMS. In this page, please do not touch the edit template button. Editing the template may cause problems. Just edit the language that you want. Click on the sync button to synchronize new strings and save the change. See how it is straightforward. Good job! Now you can continue the translation. This was the end of our tutorial. Do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.